Issues in Knoxby County are causing at least one family to evacuate their home. Thanks for joining us tonight at 9. William Whitehead says that waters from the Knoxby River are invading his backyard. Now he and his wife are packing up. Our Quentin Smith joins us live in studio. And Quentin, he tells you this is, is not the first time that the Macon man was forced to evacuate. Yeah, Scott, this marks the second time Whitehead has had to head to higher ground. The first time was just over 40 years ago. Whitehead recently bought a new home, and he and his wife are planning on moving in that home later this year. But the recent floodwaters have them packing up a lot sooner than expected. This isn't the backyard William Whitehead dreamed of having when he built his home more than 50 years ago. As floodwaters moved in, he knew it was time to move out. We actually talked about it last night when we got up this morning. We saw it, and then we started. Packing then. I learned that you're not going to be able to play with flood water. It's going to come no matter what you do. In just a few hours, everything in his home was packed up and loaded inside these trailers. Oh, it's been hectic. I, I have said, but on another issue before, it's like organized chaos. I mean, grab, come and grabbing boxes, packing boxes. One of my wife and him, she went and got boxes and kept pack. My wife back in the back, finished packing up the bedroom so get it out. For Whitehead, heavy rains have always been problematic for his home. In 1979, the Knoxville River forced him and his family out of their home, leaving them with nowhere to go. I didn't know about the flood when I built. I built this house in 67. And so I did not know about the flood at that time. And nothing to do about it then. But we had bought another house, and so we at least have a place to go. Once everything is moved out, the Knoxby County man says he and his wife will move into their new house and sell the home they're leaving. We'll spend a night down at night. Got a few clothing. Oh, I just now realized I don't know where my clothes are, which, which, which trailer they in, but we'll, we'll find it tomorrow. Whitehead isn't the only resident on Ridge Road with these concerns. Bertha Connor has lived in the neighborhood for three decades and is also packing up items in case flood waters force her out of her home. I'm taking all the precautionaries that I can because this river can rise and it's all around town, it's up, so I'm just trying to get out from, get a few things and leave before the water get up. Now, with more rain in the forecast, Whitehead expects the inside of his house to be flooded by tomorrow morning. Volunteers with the Macon Volunteer Fire Department and Calvary Baptist Church helped Whitehead and his family move out today. Scott?